Okay, we're going to uh, today learn how to use the frequency and descriptives options. Uh, this is what you would want to do if you were trying to find uh, descriptive statistics concerning your data. So if you're looking for the mean, the median, the mode, uh, standard deviations, if you're looking for histogram information, frequency information, this is what you would do. We'll start off and we'll look at our data. We've got a, a column called participant ID, sex, race, and age. These are clearly demographic information. We then have uh, some other measures, social anxiety, rejection census whether or not someone suffers from depression and their disgust sensitivity. If we go to variable view, uh, we can see that for sex, if we click on values, one is for male, two is for female. For race, one is Asian, two is black, three is Hispanic, four is white, and five is other. Um, this just lets us know what our values are. So let's say we want to find out, we we'll want to start with frequency information. We want to know how many people uh, are male and how many are female? Or we want to know how many members of every race, how many people in an age category do we have? We're going to go up to Analyze, we're going to go do Descriptive Statistics, and we're going to go to Frequencies. Now, in here, you will see Frequencies, and you'll hear Descriptives. These are the two places we're going to be going in this lesson. If you click on Frequencies, we'll see the following window. Let's say we want to find out the frequency of race, and we move race over to here. And let's say even we want to do sex as well. This box here is already clicked and it says display frequency tables. We're going to leave that and we're just going to hit OK. We can see that on our descriptive statistics we have 18 individual responses for race and 18 for sex. For race we have four individuals who are Asian, three who are black, four who are Hispanic, six who are white, and one other. The next column is the percentage of our individuals who make up that category. And then the last column is the cumulative percent. That is uh, the if you add up every category from before. So if you add Asian and black together, you get 38.9%, which is 16.7 plus 22.2. If we go down on to uh, the sex category, we see we have 8 males and 10 females for a total of 18. The valid percent column is the column if you had any missing data. Uh, let's say someone had forgotten to uh, state their race or their sex, uh, you would have a slightly different number there. Generally not something we pay a lot of attention to. Now let's go back to our uh, data view. Let's say we want to find out the average for um, age and the frequency. We can go to frequency, we can reset these. We'll put age in here. And now let's click on statistics. And we're going to see all these different measures of different statistics. We have our mean, median, mode, and our sum. Let's click all of those. We'll leave out sum. Let's also say we want our standard deviation, our variance, our range. Let's get a minimum and maximum. If we want to know what our percentiles are, we could say I want the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentile. Or I could give very specific groups. I could say I want the 33rd percentile. Or I could say I want the groups set off into certain equal size groups. We'll hit OK or continue. We can click on charts and we can get different charts. Because we're looking at a histogram, a frequency distribution, we'll click on histograms. And we can even show the normal curve. And then we'll just click OK. Here are the statistics for age. We have 18 individuals responding on age. The mean age is 19.5. The median is 19, and the mode is 18. has a standard deviation of 1.42. And here's the rest of our information. Our variance, our range, minimum, maximum, our different percentiles. Here's our frequency distribution. Six people who were 18, four who were 19, etc. Here is our histogram showing our graph. And this is just one option for looking at descriptive statistics in SPSS. Now let's say we wanted to use the other option, the other way of doing this. Let's say we wanted to go to descriptive statistics and then click on descriptives. This is another way of getting descriptive information. Now descriptives will not allow you to get frequency information. So anytime you want frequency information, you have to go to frequencies. But to get descriptive information, you can go to either frequency or you can go to descriptives. Let's say we want descriptive information for age. We can click on this variable, age. 
we can click on options, and then we can click on our mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, variance, range. These are all already clicked, or several of them are already clicked. If we hit continue and OK, we'll see that now we get our age information, and it looks a little different, the setup, but it's the same information. Our mean is still 19.5, our minimum is still 18, our maximum is still 22, standard deviation is still 1.42. So this information is quite a bit the same. Uh, it's just presented in a slightly different format. If we wanted to get dis uh, frequency information for the other variables or descriptive information, we can go to descriptive frequencies. We can bring in all our levels of social anxiety, rejection sensitivity, amount of depressive symptoms, and our level of disgust. Let's say I don't actually want the frequency information. I can click that off, and all I actually want are my mean, median, and mode, and let's say I also want my standard deviation. I can click continue, and I can click OK, and now I can see that I've got my statistics for level social anxiety, the mean is 4.1, with a median of 4 and a mode of 4, and I can see that for my other three columns. This is how you can determine descriptive information and descriptive statistics in SPSS.